Hello everyone, I am Siddharthan. Since I started working on my machine learning course, I received a lot of requests in order to do the same for a deep learning course. And I think that it's finally time to do it. So in this video, I'll just give you a quick overlook on what are all the topics that we will be discussing in this deep learning course and what are all the modules that this particular course will contain. And I'll also tell you a way in which you can tell me what are all the topics that you wish to learn. Okay, so let's get started. So these are all the 13 modules that we have in our deep learning course. In the first module, let's do some revision on the machine learning concepts that we have, uh, you know, discussed so far. So it's best if you have learned, you know, uh, all the topics that I've explained in machine learning course so that, you know, you would understand this course much better. So in this first module, I'll probably make some videos like, you know, uh, a couple of are long videos on discussing some of the important topics that we have uh, did in this machine learning course. So in the next module, let's discuss about some of the basics of deep learning to just get started. Like uh, what is meant by this deep learning? What is the history of it? And what are all the different applications of this and so on? And the third module will be on Python basics for deep learning. And for this, what I did for machine learning course is enough, but I'll also try to add like few more uh, topics like uh, you know, working on classes in Python and how to create your custom modules and so on. So that might be very useful for you. And the fourth module will be predominantly on mathematics required for deep learning, where we will discuss about vectors, matrices and tensors. So if time permits, uh, I'll also try to add, you know, calculus concepts to this particular module, but let's see. And fifth module will be perceptrons. So perceptrons are nothing but the most basic form of neural network. Okay, so then let's try to understand what is the idea behind this perceptron and how this perceptron works and so on. And the sixth module is a very important one where we will be discussing about some of the building blocks of neural networks like uh, activation functions, uh, gradient descent, stochastic gradient descent, back propagation, etc. So all these concepts will help us, uh, you know, understand the advanced concepts better. So once we move on to, you know, artificial neural network, CNN and RNN. So, you know, we need to understand this before going to that part. So the seventh module will be on artificial neural networks, where we will try to understand like uh, the concept behind them and how we can implement them for our use cases. And the eighth module. So this is completely on computer vision. So we will learn about CNN, how this convolutional neural networks works and how we can, you know, use it for different applications of computer visions and so on. And this module eight is, it can be a standalone course too. So this will be like very vast compared to the other modules. So yeah, so it might be a large, okay, but we will learn a lot in this particular module. And in the module nine, let's learn about transfer learning and how to implement it. So transfer learning is all about uh, how to use your pre-trained models in order to, uh, you know, train the data that you have. And in computer vision, let's also work on several use cases related to computer vision. And the module 10, similar to this computer vision, let's understand how deep learning can be used for NLP, which is natural language processing. And we will also learn about this RNN, which is recurrent neural networks. So the 11th module will be on autoencoders. And 12th module will be on deep learning projects where we will work on several use cases using uh, neural networks. So like I don't want to do this deep learning projects after completing this 11 modules, but uh, what I'll do is I'll post deep learning projects and use cases once in a while. Let's say there are like five uh, videos in this particular order. I'll, you know, add a deep learning project video. So as we did for this machine learning course, so that we have both theoretical, uh, you know, knowledge and practical experience and so on. So there will be like several deep learning projects, uh, you know, we can learn it. And finally, let's try to understand how we can deploy this neural networks. For machine learning, we have seen how we can create web pages using Streamlit and how we can deploy our models models using you know, APIs and so on. So let's do the same for neural networks too. And finally, I'll give a link for a Google form in this video description where you can write to me regarding the topics that you would like to learn. So if like, let's say you feel like there is some other thing that I may, I may have missed here and you would like to learn that, just mention it. I'll see if I could add that uh, within these modules. I'll see like what is the feasibility of it. Okay, so just you can find this uh, link in the video description. Okay, so that's it from my side. And I hope that you are eager to learn this deep learning course. Yeah, see you. Bye.